Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at the year ahead. We're going to take a look at the energy of 2021 through the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Before I begin, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you so much to those of you who've joined in the recent weeks. I hope you find this to be a really nice place where we just chat about astrology and even spirituality, a little bit what's going on in the world out there. I hope you find this to be a really nice community. Uh, I want to cover some questions that I've had from people in the last few weeks before we get stuck in. So one of the questions was about the Dutch election. Would I cover that? Yes, I will. I'll cover that, I think, in the January episode. So come back to the channel and see the January 2021 episode. I'll try and squeeze it in there. So that should be coming up on the channel. I had another person request the Nakshatra song series. Yes, I would love to do that. So thank you very much for uh, asking me to, to look into that. I'd love to do that. It's funny, I'm still finishing the water element. I have to do that one in the element series. I've just about finished that. I'm going to do a water element video and I'm going to do an episode on Gandanta as well. And I was thinking, what series am I going to do next? And one of you brilliantly wrote the comment, hey, would you do a Nakshatra um, song series? And yes, I would gladly do that. So that's that question. Now, the other question I got was from a video. I think it was one of the more recent videos. Somebody asked me, what do I do for my teeth? Is there something I do for my teeth to keep them white? Well, thank you very much for saying that they look white, which is very good news because I tend to think they are a little bit yellow and that the camera tends to whiten everything because I use a Canon G7X Mark II and that brightens everything. I don't use artificial lighting or any of that, but I will go there with the teeth question. It is kind of interesting because it has been a concern of mine and I was looking for a natural thing to do. You just have to do coconut oil like two days once a month type of thing. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Type into Google coconut oil, teeth whitening, oil pulling, type in those kind of terms and you'll come across a lot of articles that explain all about that. Um, okay, and the other thing I wanted to raise just quickly before we get in was the next session I'm going to do, the next client session. I'm going to close down client sessions for a little while and the next available session will be Feb of next year. All right, so um, I'm doing that because I'd like to keep up with my content schedule. I am a little bit behind. Uh, as I just mentioned, I haven't done the water element. I haven't done... Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that I'm, I'm pretty behind. And now I, I do want to do this Nakshatra song series. So stick around on the channel for all these things. Uh, tomorrow I may not be doing a pick a card. It's likely, I, I think I'm going to shift that to next Tuesday. And it's looking like the topic is going to be something around inner child healing. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But I think that's just about all the channel news covered. We are now ready to get into the news of the year, right? What is next year going to be like? I'm sure many of us are coming to the end of this year, kind of in the same way that Freddie Mercury got to the end of his life. I did him, I'll put a link above if you want to watch, I did a um, master's episode on him, on his life. He's a really great case study. And apparently by the time he got to the end of his life, I heard a channeler explain that, you know, when, when he got to that other side, he was very much in need of repair. And I could imagine that many of us coming to the end of this year, we are in need of repair of some kind. You know, we're in need of rest and healing and recharging. And that's why today I took the decision that, you know, I'm going to take a bit of time out and I'm going to open my next um, client session to be in Feb. So, yeah, I mean, if you need a bit of time out for repair, do take it at this time. We're going to have some days coming, uh, you know, days off coming up Christmas time, which is great. I wanted to do a little overview of 2020. What, what did we have happen astrologically this year? It was a massive year, okay? And I'm going to put by my side, uh, I'm going to write out exactly what happened. Last year, we had Mars retrograde September to November. We had Venus retrograde May to June. 
right? That's in addition to all the other retrogrades that were going on, okay? So we had a massive amount of uh, planets retrograding. We had a Rahu Ketu shift end of September. We had Saturn move into Capricorn end of January, right? We had 13 full moons, one blue moon, and six eclipses. Okay, that, that is just huge, right? It's an absolutely massive year when we do a stock take of what happened. It's really big. So let's take a look at 2021. What do we have coming up? Well, we do not have Mars Venus retrograde. They're not going to retrograde. Venus will retrograde at the end of the year. So that's something a bit different there. We have 12 full moons, no blue moon. We have four eclipses. Okay, so in some ways, it's a bit of a lighter year, astrologically speaking. It's not as hectic in the sky. What I am going to say is that it will be a very slow year and a raw year. This word raw, I'm kind of taking that from the fact that Saturn and Jupiter are conjunct uh, at the moment and will be until, say, April. And... It's going to continue to be, I think raw is the right word for it because Saturn is going to go deeper into Capricorn. This is very deep Capricorn territory. Uh, you know, Pluto is there as well, right? So I've got the note here, raw truth should become apparent to all. And that is one of the things that I'm thinking that going forward, you know, I want to be looking more at raw information for example i've been quite enjoying watching you know court proceedings happening in america i've been looking up things like the legal terms on the cdc website and things like that like that all that information is available to the public right and and that, that's the kind of information that i would actually prefer to access rather than someone's interpretation of it i think you know we can access now uh raw information and that's the better way to go uh, I've got the note here, when a change happens, that change will be very quick. So we can look out for that in 2021. So things to look out for. So number one, it's going to be a slow and a raw year, definitely. Number two, when a change happens, that change will be very quick. Uh, a lot of planets are going to square Uranus, okay? So we're going to see, like we saw this year, I did that video, Murdoch about turn. You know, he did a 180 degree, totally changed his... Uh, what he was doing. So we're going to see more of that in the year ahead. I've got the note, you know, giant corporations may collapse in a day, top leaders may be arrested, corrupt institutions will lose respect. The machinery of Western civilization, monetary systems, governing bodies and international institutions will all get a thorough working through by Saturn, which will be intensified by Pluto. There will be changes, shifts, dismantling of the old, regeneration, and the potential of innovation in renewal efforts when Jupiter moves into Aquarius. It'll feel like the world will start breathing again a bit when Jupiter moves into Aquarius 7th April 2021 to about mid-June. 15 September onwards, Jupiter retrogrades back into Capricorn for another intense winter. Eclipses, what will they bring? Okay, now I got the book Predictive Astrology, The Eagle and the Lark. This was recommend, recommended by Ernst Wilhelm and uh, I'm going to quote directly from this book because she outlines the eclipse cycles and what they're going to bring sort of over a long period of time. And uh, who's the author? Gosh, I don't have the book here, but I've just got the title Predictive Astrology, The Eagle and the Lark. I'll put her, the author's name on the screen now. So in there, she says, we have the potential for joyful eclipses. Isn't that some good news? That bring love and good news. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we need some good news, right? And we do have some coming. Uh, so we have the potential for joyful eclipses that bring love and good news. They will also bring a personal questioning of our relationship with control and authority figures. Absolutely. And I'm going to cover the eclipses in a lot more detail during the year as we go along. So stick around on the channel because I'll keep doing reports and I'll keep talking about all these different things. Now, as I go through each sign, I'm going to put a diagram by my side 
And this diagram, I learned how to do this by watching the astrology podcast. So I'll put their details on the screen. I'll also put their details below. I really enjoy watching that podcast. It's a Western astrology podcast, but that doesn't matter to me. I love all systems of astrology and how I tend to use astrology. I tend to think you hone your intuition on one system and then, you know, you use it. Now, for me, I love the sidereal Vedic system. It works the best. And I know many Western astrologers who have discovered through their research and application and all that kind of thing they've discovered that if i read everything just kind of roughly one sign behind i'm very accurate right and that's what that's what we're doing here in sidereal vedic so for me this is the best system i love it but i love uh, listening to western astrologers and all kinds of astrology i love it all i have no problem uh, with any of them so when i've been watching the astrology podcast i really love the diagram that they use what they have is they've got a circular diagram and I'll put the one, uh, the Aries one by my side as I speak about it. What they've done is they've very cleverly mapped out for the entire year, the movement of the, the planets, right? So if Mercury does a retrograde, you know, you see a little retrograde motion in, in the arc, you see, you see it in the drawing. So this map basically flattens and shows the pathway of the planet for the entire year. And that's the diagram that I'm going to have by my side for every single sign. Okay, uh, I'm going to put these diagrams on a link below. You'll be able to click on the link and read the script that I'm, I'm just going to read. I've done all the analysis. So I've been doing all this analysis over a couple of weeks and I've been putting together these diagrams over a couple of weeks. It's taken me a while. So what I have done is I've written everything out you will be able to click onto my website and see your diagram in detail and you'll be able to read this script as well. So if you don't have time to listen to me reading it out now, then you can just click on your link and click on the link below and read it uh, yourself. And you can also, you know, download the, the JPEG of, of the flat map that I've put together. Now, I've just eyeballed that map, okay? So it's not precise. It's just a rough drawing. And you'll see my Adobe Illustrator skills are not the best. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good enough to show the year in its entirety. Okay, so that's how that diagram works. Why don't we get stuck in now to this? Yeah, Aries. Let's take a look. Aries, welcome. Oh, and the other thing before I begin all of this, I just want to say you can watch your moon sign you can watch your sun sign you can watch your rising sign if you've got you know a lot of planets conjunct saturn and, and you really want to see from saturn's point of view watch from that sign okay so if you don't know what your sidereal vedic signs are then there's a link below you'll be able to click on that link and find out what your sidereal coordinates are okay you'll be able to find out your rising and your moon and your sun those are the main ones so i would recommend that you have a look at those three as we go but why don't we just get into this and if there are any updates to um, the text that i've written out here i may well put a little correction or an update uh, i'll attach that on the web link that i give to you the other thing i wanted to say is that please feel free to watch this in the middle of the year. Feel free to watch this a quarter of the way into the year or towards the end of the year. You can have a look at this again. Then you can write to me and you can tell me what came true. Um, you can tell me, you know, what didn't come true, whatever you like. If you want to give me feedback on this, I would love to read that feedback. So also please know that if I am unable to get back to your comment, it's just because I'm super busy and you know, I, I've run out of time. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it just sometimes things get a little bit busy, but I do read everything, okay, that comes through. So now we can begin. Let's take a look. So Aries, welcome Aries. I'm welcoming either an Aries moon, ascendant or sun, sidereal Vedic. Welcome. Let's take a look at your year ahead. Now, the diagram by my side and the script that follows can be found on the, a web link below, okay, that I'll point you to. So if you want to access this later, you can. And of course, you can always come back and give me feedback whenever you like. All right, so in 2021, 
In some ways, it'll be a smoother ride as your Ascendant Lord moves forward all year. Your masculine and feminine energies will be more balanced. The heavy outer planets, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto, are going to go deep into your career, your purpose in the world, your leadership skills, no matter what job you do, will all be in focus. Saturn will be pressing weak links in regards to what kind of leader you are. Okay, and don't worry if you're looking for work, right? You're leading that project. Okay, so you, you are a leader, you know, no matter what you're doing. Okay, even if you're looking for work, you're the leader of that looking for work project, right? So Saturn's going to be looking at what kind of a leader you are. Do you grit your teeth and rise up? Or do the challenges drive you into your shell? And it's okay, we all need a bit of shell time, right? And that's your opposite sign there, that's Cancer. And yes, you might need that at times this year. Allow Saturn to show you your weak spots and work gradually to improve them. All year is a good time for love. However, you might feel Saturn testing your marriage if you are married. If single, perhaps an old flame may return towards the very end of the year, or you will revisit some old dynamic or pattern in your relationship. So Aries, I hope that, that it's going to be a good year for you. I'm wishing you all the best. I'm wishing you success and, and that you get to find the right balance in your life between work and a bit of you know shell time as you need it all right so Aries take good care of yourself thank you so much for stopping by and we're now going to welcome Taurus Taurus welcome so this is either Taurus Sun Taurus Moon Taurus Ascendant through the sidereal Vedic system welcome to your reading now the diagram by my side you can find that on a link below Let's get into it. The script as well that I'm going to read out here, you can find that on the link below as well. Okay. In 2021, watch your spending habits. You may be tempted to splash out on expensive items. Think before shopping. With your Rahu Moon connection, you have the potential to be more open-minded than ever before. You will be able to view things from multiple points of view all at the same time. All the while, the big, heavy outer planets are working to transform your intellect, your beliefs and your sense of authority. Do you have your own inner authority? Do you have your own back? What's your relationship like with your higher self? Trusting your own intuition will help you take up the right opportunities this year. It'll boost your overall courage and it'll help you to compete skillfully in the marketplace. Rise to any challenges by working a little bit on your goals every day. Your professional network circles or social media platforms, etc., are set to grow by a lot this year if you consistently work at building them. So Taurus Moon, I'm really wishing that this is a great year ahead for you. It seems to me like it's going to be it's going to be good on the social media front. I tell you, if you're running any kind of social channels or something, this could be a really good time to grow. So I'm wishing you well, Taurus. Thank you so much for stopping by. And we're now going to meet Gemini. So Gemini, Gemini Moon, Gemini Sun, Gemini Ascendant. Welcome. Welcome to your yearly outlook. Now the diagram by my side and the script that I'm going to read out, you can find these on a link below if ever you'd like to refer to that. So in 2021, you'll start the year with some fantastic Mars energy. Oh, this is good. That should provide courage and help you get the year going. While the outer planets work through your personal and joint finances, Saturn is also going to test any weak links in your career. How you take in new opportunities is also being transformed and regenerated. You might have new opportunities or gains pop in unexpectedly. Be careful in how you communicate with family members, especially around May, June type time. If things get rough this year or a little bit tough, you should be able to make time for short getaways. That will be a really good thing for you even if that's just enjoying a new online spiritual teacher 
or online workshop. Okay, so if you if you need to carve out a bit of me time at points during this year, that there, there should be energy there and ability for you to be able to do that. You might revisit an old flame or issue in your love life towards the end of the year. Overall, this year should focus you inward. You'll be building your personal life and finances as opposed to engaging overly in the outward energies of sharing your soul with the collective at large. So it is going to be a bit more of a personal focus, a bit more of a personal, you know, your, your energies are going to be a bit more inward um, as an overall analysis of the year. So you do have a lot more um, planetary activity there that, that's going to be better for you. So Gemini, I think this is going to be a good year ahead for you. Um, it looks like it looks like money-wise you should be able to gain or, or restructure things there. It, it's looking quite good to me though. So Gemini, I'm wishing you all the best for the year ahead. And we are now going to welcome Cancer. Cancer, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Ascendant. Welcome to your reading. This is all in the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now the diagram by my side and the script that I'm about to read out, you can find that on a web link below. So if you want to refer to it later, you can, but let's take a look. So in 2021, your business, your marriage and your public persona will all be being worked through by Saturn, Pluto and Jupiter. In addition to this, your beliefs will receive Saturn's attention. What does the word authority mean to you? How much influence do external sources of authority have over your life? Where and when do you listen to your own internal authority? How about God, the universe, the all is one? How do these influence you in terms of authority? Sudden changes may occur in your workplace and you will have the desire to pursue new opportunities for growth. It's a good year to pursue gains, promotions, wealth and expansions to your social networks. Your sense of self, who you are as an individual will also be tested by Saturn. Your home or home life may also come into focus this year. An old flame may come back at the end of the year, or you may be revisiting a dynamic in your marriage or partnership at the end of the year as well. So Cancer, it seems like it's gonna be quite a good year for you. Uh, this concept of authority, isn't that epic? And I mean, that is a general thing that Saturn is going through anyway. So, you know, it's really good that you're going to have an opportunity to go quite deep into that and definitely developing your own sense of authority, trusting your own inner voice, your heart, your intuition, and your mind, right? Logic, the mind, ego, these are all good things, right? So, you know, it is a good time definitely to be referring back to the self at all times. But Cancer, I wanna thank you so much for joining. And we are now gonna welcome Leo. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, my voice has just decided to fail on me. <clears throat> Sorry about this. <laughs> all right, Leo, welcome, welcome. Now we're welcoming Leo Sun, we're welcoming Leo Moon and or Leo Ascendant. Welcome to all the Leo types out there. Now, the diagram by my side and the script that I'm about to read out can be found in the link below. I'm just going to read this out. Let's take a look at what's happening in your year ahead. So in 2021, Saturn will polish you into a diamond if you let him. Work with Saturnian energy, which means build excellent habits. Work a little bit each day, stay committed to your goals, have a long-term vision in mind, and success gradually over time will be yours. Your training ground over the next two years is getting you to learn excellence in service. You will learn how to be a team player, how to manage chaos, how to compete, and how to seek and fight for justice. Your finances may also be restructured or there will be some tests in regards to joint finances. If the going gets tough, 
there may be opportunities for you to escape from it all, either through spirituality or small retreats. Please don't overwork. Because you might be forced to take time out through rundown health if you do. Okay, so be careful health wise. Things could get a bit intense there for you. It's kind of a lot of sixth house energy. You will need courage, courage to speak, or perhaps courage to negotiate peace amongst fellow teammates. This can be a good year for love, but with Rahu in the 10th, it's likely that the main focus will be work this year. Okay, so, and if you're interested in love and all that kind of thing, do check my monthly reports because that's where I tell, talk about Venus's movement and Mercury and, you know, some of the smaller planets are better when it comes to looking at love. In this report, I've really looked at the large, big movements for the year. So Leo, it's looking like a really, really good year for you. Okay, uh, Saturn's in your sixth house there. You can, my goodness, this is a platform building time potentially. So really work with Saturnian energy, stay out of politics, you know, <laughs> stay out of the chaos, uh, focus on your goals and what you want. You can win a lot this year. You can achieve a lot. All right, Leo. So thank you so much for joining. We are now going to welcome Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Welcome Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, Virgo Ascendant, and that's as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now the diagram by my side and the script that I'm about to read out can be found on a link below. Right, let's take a look at your year. So in 2021, how you work with and channel creative energy will be a major focus all year. By working with Saturn to in a very real and practical way, materialize more of your creative energy, you will be able to expand your business and your public following or profile. Love and romance is likely to be tested as well. How you enter into relationships, how you leave relationships and how you are during a relationship will all be tested. This can be a good time for singles to manifest a partner, especially for women. There might be sudden changes in joint finances. There can be confusion with competitors or in the service aspect of your business. Rahu in the ninth is encouraging you to really work through your beliefs. What do you really believe? And what's your relationship like with authority figures? Do you believe the media, the government, God, yourself, your heart, your intuition? Do you trust what's coming through directly from source. You know, where does your trust lie? This is a great time to pick up more personal power and more authority over your own life. So Virgo, this is a really good time for you. And the other thing I wanted to mention here is children. If you have children, you might be especially focused on them. You might be especially concerned about your children, okay? So overall, I think it's looking like a really good year for you. So you know, keep working at your creativity and it's all gonna come good. All right, so we are now gonna welcome Libra. Libra, welcome, thank you so much for joining. So we are welcoming Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Ascendant, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. I'm just checking the time, how are we doing? We're okay. Good. Sorry, sometimes the memory card looks like it's going to run out and it's not going to run out. Okay, now the diagram by my side that I'm going to put up uh, and the script that I'm going to read for you now can all be found on a link below. Okay, so if you want to refer back or if you prefer reading, you're very welcome to do that. All right, so in 2021, something about your home life or your concept of home will be worked through by Saturn, Jupiter and Pluto. Perhaps you will be working from home on a more permanent basis now. You might move or make major changes to your home. Mother's health could be tested, so be sure to keep her in your prayers or keep visiting her, keep spending time with her, whatever it is that you're able to do. Mars and the inner planets are fairly smooth this year and will help you build your public profile in the world and help you make steady progress in your career. Saturn may help you compete more effectively in the workplace, or he might be testing how you do in the face of competition. There may be sudden changes in partnerships or your marriage. Joint finances can be improved or restructured this year. 
Furthermore, your entire sense of self may go through changes and fluctuations. Perhaps you will have reason to change your mind on certain matters or think in new ways that you haven't thought before. So Libra, this is looking like quite a good year for you. Uh, I think, you know, yeah, you will likely spend more time at home. There's quite a concentration of energy. Saturn's really working through that area. But equally, I mean, you know, maybe there might be an ability to to be out and about more because I know too much time at home can drive a person crazy as well. So if you're experiencing a bit of that cabin fever sort of thing, I think there is energy here for you uh, that that will mean that you can be a bit more out and about. So it's going to be about balancing that. It's going to be about finding a balance with all of that. So Libra, thank you so much for stopping by. We are now going to welcome Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So we're going to welcome Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Ascendant as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now the diagram by my side and the script that follows, you can find that on a link below. So if you prefer reading this content, you're very welcome to do that. Let's take a look at your year ahead. So in 2021, Saturn is polishing you to become a star player in the team of humanity, right? Courage, how you relate to peers and how you communicate is all going to be worked through by the outer planets. How you creatively use images, video and the written word to communicate is another thing that you'll be able to explore in some depth, right? Your creativity is simultaneously being worked through and by the end of Saturn's transit, you should be able to communicate more of your unique ideas and visions to the world than ever before. Handling competition might be interesting this year. There might be sudden changes in how you compete or in how others compete with you. Your marriage and or business partnerships may also experience changes or expansion. This is also a year where your beliefs will be worked through and you might find yourself changing your mind on certain things. Be careful how you speak to your marriage or business partners during May or June. Okay, there's going to be a little retrograde down there in your seventh house, but that's okay. Uh, so just be careful how you speak to your marriage or business partners during May or June. Otherwise, this looks like a good and a steady year for you. Yeah, Scorpio, I, I think this is going to be a really good year. I know that it, the timing is not the best. Um, if you've come out of Sardis South the and you want, you know, but, but for you, Honestly, you're one of the lucky three signs, lucky three that's having this beautiful Saturn transit. So do not worry, shut out the world, shut out the chaos, shut out all the madness that's going on because you personally can profit, okay? Believe in yourself and always remember that there, you know, millionaires are created even at times of um, economic recession and problems and things like that. You've got winning stars with you. So keep being positive, keep working. Uh, hopefully this should be a really good time for you. All right, Scorpio, so thank you so much for joining. And we are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Ascendant, as per the Sidereal Vedic system of astrology, welcome. The diagram by my side and the script that I'm going to read out can all be found on a web link below. So I'm going to put that below and you can take a look at that. All right, let's take a look at your year ahead. So in 2021, you're currently going through your last phase of Sati Sati. Easy does it, right? Your long-term wealth, joint finances and or family structures are being worked through by the outer planets. Your home life and or your sense of what it means to be at home is also being tested. This can be a very creative year for you. You may suddenly get new ideas come in, so be ready to ground them into reality. How you compete at work will get a boost from Rahu. You should have the energy and courage to stand up and fight for what's right in your community or workplace. If the going gets tough at any time this year, you can escape into occult practices and or teachings. Perhaps you might like to expand your knowledge by studying new occult practices or systems. 
at times your courage might be tested this year and there may be some confusion when relating to peers or fellow teammates at work. So Sagittarius, I do think this is going to be a really good year for you. And for me, I'm thinking that the real highlight and the real potential is going to be in your creativity. This can be a really creative time. And I think if you hit the ground running um, with a view to to bringing in that creativity and yeah, grounding it in, into reality, I think that's going to be really the strongest thing uh, that will happen this year. And I've been working with a few of you. Some of you are starting businesses, which is super exciting. So, and I know that you're very busy at this time right now. I think you're going to get quite busy next year. So Sagittarius, I wish you well. I wish you the best year ever. Um, you know, it's tough out there. I know things aren't brilliant, but I think if we shut out the outside world and we just focus within, um, it, it can be a good time. So thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining. And we are now going to welcome Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I'm just going to check the time. We're good. We're fine. I can keep going. Memory card's not going to run out. All right, Capricorn. Now, I am welcoming Capricorn Moon, Sun, or Ascendant, as per the Sidereal Vedic System of Astrology. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now, the diagram by my side and the script that follows, you can find that in a web link below. But let's just take a look at your year ahead, shall we? So in 2021, your entire sense of self, yes, is big. <laughs> this is the Capricorn people. And, I, and hello to the one who checked in who said, I'm Capricorn in Sidereal Vedic and Tropical. Yeah. Good. Wow. <laughs> That's massive. So your entire sense of self, who you are and how you belong to the family of humanity is slowly being transformed and I believe upgraded, right? Hold the highest thoughts for what it is you want to do in this world as massive cycles are being put in place for you at this time. In addition to this, your sense of courage is being widened and broadened. The potential for you to take more responsibility in the future is being raised okay so your potential for taking more responsibility is being raised all right this is actually quite exciting you might experience sudden changes at home perhaps you need to do some emergency repairs to your home or you might even have to move something like that um, all the while you your creativity how you take and channel creative energy is being expanded at the end of the year, you may experience a dreamy time in your love life. That's nice news. Uh, and perhaps someone from the past may even return. At times, there may be confusion that you experience with close family members, but this too shall pass. Overall, it will be a slow, good, and at times intense year. Yeah, I, I definitely think this could be uh, a bit of an intense year this time, but... Um, you know, I feel like, and I've, I think I've said this for you guys before, who, you know, in terms of who's going to set to profit the most, I do believe it's, it's you guys. You, you've got a tough thing going on here, Capricorn, but you're set to profit the most. So keep at it, right? And, and you're naturally equipped. You're a Capricorn, okay? So you, you and Saturn, you know, I mean, you guys are close, right? So I think it's going to be fine. So Capricorn, thank you so much for joining and we are now going to welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, thank you so much for joining. So we're welcoming Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Ascendant, as per the Sidereal Vedic System of Astrology. Thank you so much for joining. Now the diagram by my side in the script that follows, you can find that uh, at a web link below. I'm going to share that below. So let's take a look at your year ahead. So in 2021, this is a wonderful time for you to hide away from the world, lucky you. Uh, deepen your meditation practices and come to a very deep understanding of who you are as a spiritual being. It's pretty major, right? But really good. Uh, at the start of the year, you are one of the lucky ones who kicks off the year with a great Mars transit. Fantastic. This Mars transit for you will bring courage and enthusiasm to, for you to pursue your work and to communicate well. It'll be a good year to work from home. It's unlikely that you'll be traveling anywhere very much uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay, so I'm not really seeing too much sort of, yeah, especially like foreign travel or any of that, um, unlikely. But if you have to, you can, okay. Um, 
sudden changes in peer groups may bring fresh energy and you have the potential to communicate in a way that's innovative and powerful this year. At times you might feel confused this year. That's natural, this energy will come and go. Career growth or your interest in career and making lots of money might be suppressed this year. That's an interesting thing for me to say. Um, it, it's because of Ketu. Basically, so from the, the Aquarius standpoint, it might be a bit suppressed, okay, how much money you can make, but look at something else. So if you've got something else going on, you might be able to make a lot of money through that. I know I think Leo is making a lot of money this year and um, who else? There's a few. So have a look at your other signs and see there'll be somewhere else where you might be able to uh, bring in a lot more money kind of thing. But if, I mean, it, this is not the year to be making the millions kind of thing is what I'm saying, but maybe from another sign you might, okay? So just, just take a look. Um, be careful of expenses. It'll be important for you to be fiscally conservative this year. Yeah, expenses could also be a bit high. Uh, your long-term savings and wealth is being restructured to allow more to come in in the future. So don't worry, this is all just quite temporary. It's not for too long. Um, so I, I, what I see for you Aquarius is that a lot is being reworked, rebalanced, and organized so that in the future you'll be able to bring the big bucks in, okay? So it's a bit like, it, next year's not the greatest year um, for the big money, but you are being transformed and worked through and in such a way that, you know, more will be able to come in. So it's coming, all right? Keep working, keep working, chipping away a little bit each day and it will all definitely come in, but do check something else and you might have more potential somewhere else to earn. All right, so now we're going to take a look at Pisces. Pisces, oh, before I leave you, Aquarius, um, just I'm wishing you the best. All right, I'm wishing you the best 2021 20, year ahead. Take care and um, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, now we're going to meet Pisces. Pisces, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. We've got just a few minutes to go on the memory cards, so, but I think we'll be okay. Now, we are welcoming. Pisces moon, we're welcoming Pisces sun, we're welcoming Pisces ascendant as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now the diagram by my side and the script that I'm going to read out, you can find all of this on a web link below. You can, If you want to read this uh, instead of hear it, you can definitely just do that if that's easier for you. So let's take a look. Now in 2021, it'll be important that you focus on creating your own life. Okay, please do not worry about the chaos around you because your stars in particular are offering you excellent opportunities for growth. You got great stars on your side this year, okay? You can really profit. Don't worry about the outside world. It's gonna be doom and gloom everywhere. Just leave that, forget about it. Really focus because you've got great stars. You can really get ahead. So the way you take in opportunities and how many opportunities you can take in is being transformed and expanded. Say yes to new opportunities over the next two years. Grab them with both hands, right? This is very good, good time for you. You might discover unexpected changes and fluctuations in your long-term wealth or savings. Your sense of courage and ability to communicate your creativity and visions to the world is also being expanded at this time. There might be changes in the family unit. Either people move or someone returns home. At times you might feel spiritual confusion you might feel your sense of self or your sense of who you are is being tested. You can escape from uncomfortable times by being creative. Okay, that's going to be a great escape for you. Express yourself creat creatively. A good form of meditation for you this year will be working with your hands, painting, making jewelry, sculpting something, you know, drawing, whatever it is. Even those, um, I love those coloring books. And things like that you know I'm always scribbling anyway so I, I love all these kind of things so find some, some form of meditation that uses your hands and that you can kind of zone out and maybe put a lecture on in the background and, and, and that kind of thing or some music or you know do make time for those kind of activities this year if you can 
Um, I've got the note here, you might even be able to start a small moonlighting business selling your wares. So who knows, you might even find a talent for something. Um, I know someone, she's got a brilliant Pisces and she just started making pottery all of a sudden one time. She's a really good friend of mine and she just, she just started and then it just she, the her whole house was full of them and she ended up selling them all and, and making quite a bit of nice money she doesn't do it anymore um, it was just for a time but you know isn't that wonderful so you never know uh, what where your creativity might take you all right well that is the year guys I think I got cut when I was saying that's where your creativity will take you and I said something like that is the year and that is indeed the year, guys. That, that is the year ahead. I hope this has been a good overview for everybody. Uh, you know, let's all just support each other. Let's, let's take care of one another, you know, regardless of anything, because the world is crazy out there and we just need to look after each other. I firmly believe, I heard this from Simon Parks. I, I listen to Simon Parks, I like him. He said that, you know, 99% of humanity is all just very, very, very good. It's just a tiny percentage that's, um, you know, not so good. And uh, so we're lucky. We've got each other, right? We've got this wonderful community. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure that you've got friends and family and people you care about. And let's all just care about each other. Let's make that the year um, ahead. You know, we can... We can make it what we want. I always believe life is what we make it. That's a big thing I believe. All right. Well, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for liking these videos. Thank you so much for all your comments. I read everything and I look forward to seeing you next time.